Once the semitendinosus is harvested, any residual muscle adhesions are removed. Both endobuttons are placed on the table, then usually the tendon is passed from one loop to the other until a full strand graft is created between the two clamps. The disadvantage of this is that it creates two areas of apposition at the end of the graft, which can create areas with uneven diameters. Moreover, advancing these ends is more difficult because of the presence of the clamps in the surgical field. With our technique, an incision is made along the axis of the tendon, approximately 5 mm from its distal end, using an uneven blade with the cutting edge facing the proximal end of the tendon. This incision is made by pulling the tendon upwards along the blade. To create the lasso loop, a clamp is placed in the incision to recover the other end of the tendon once it has been threaded in the loop of the end button. Then the loop is tightened by pulling the free end of the tendon so that it is solidly attached to the end button. The graft is completed by passing the tendon in the loop of each end button until a full strand graft is obtained of the desired length. The strands are strengthened by soldering each end of the graft with non-absorbable thread.